Alright, so welcome to my next tutorial here. Today I want to keep things really basic and just talk about three general things that Daz Studio can do that can help you out. They're just little tricks so that you can have an easier time working in Daz Studio. The first thing I want to talk about are going to be the shapes that you can actually add into Daz Studio. You can make your own props or rudimentary props. Then I want to talk about how to texture them. So you can add any kind of texture or color to your, to your shape. And then we're going to group them together so that you can easily find them in your scene and move them around. All right, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up to this icon right here. It looks really funky, but actually what it is is a it's a box, a sphere and a cone. And if you click on that, you can choose a box, a sphere and a cone. So if you look here, I click on it, I can make a actually several things. I can make a cube, a cylinder, a cone, a sphere, a torus, which is like a ring, or a plane. And these can be amazing when you want to add something to a prop or you just need to build something really quick. You know, add a platform, make a wheel, those kind of things. Now I'm going to keep this really basic in this tutorial and I'm going to choose a cube and then it it asks you where the origin is so we want it in the center so it just means that it's going to be at XYZ coordinate 000. Um, primary axis it says is Y positive you can change that if you want to but then down here is where it becomes uh, kinda interesting because it can form how your objects gonna uh, look your size right now the size is at one meter and how many divisions is it gonna have I'm gonna keep the size at one meter the divisions it only has 20 divisions I'm gonna increase that to a hundred to show you a couple things all right I'm gonna hit accept and boom there is my cube all right, now this is just a basic cube, but you know, maybe you want to make something that you don't have and you need it for your scene. This cube could be your answer. All right, so up here where it says perspective view, if I click on this little icon here, um, right now I am viewing everything in texture shaded, but I can also look at it in like wire shaded and when I do that you can see that my big cube is made out of a bunch of little cubes so this um, view wire will break it up into all its components alright I'm gonna go back to texture shaded and uh, let's give this some color. So if I click on my cube, let's say I want to make it brown. I need to come down here, drop down. I'm in parameters right now, right? So this is how I can move it left, right. I can rotate the cube with the um, X, Y, Z, rotate, so on. What I need to do is I need to jump down to surface all right and you can see this says surface click on the cube drop it down get to the base so see I went cube default base and I can change the color right here let's say I want to make this a brown cube now I've got a brown cube so see you can make a I mean I use these 
all the time for basic things I need if I, I don't have a prop or if I need to alter a prop I can do that. Okay so that takes care of textures and you can also what's really cool is if you go to that base color I'm gonna turn it back to white just for a moment here if I click on the arrow I can go to browse and then I can um, go to my Daz Studio and I have a bunch of textures just kind of um, in a folder here and so I can make this a wood texture for example I just found this picture of wood off the internet I put it in a folder and now my block is got some wood grain to it all right now uh, the third thing I want to show you is grouping um, and let's say I have multiple uh, objects so I'm gonna just create couple more things let's make a, a sphere all right so I've got a sphere got to go back up to parameters to move it so now I've got a block and a sphere and let's just make one more thing let's make a, uh, a cone all right and I've got these objects look at some textures for our sphere and our cone just to go over that again so again to make some texture I want to click on my object I just clicked on my sphere I'm gonna go down to surfaces select the sphere go to base and I can either make it a solid color by clicking on the white bar and then selecting a color like purple and then it's going to be that color or I can select a texture that I have saved by clicking on the arrow going to browse and then scrolling down let's try and find another cool wood grain see these wood grains I have just copied off the internet just type in like wood grain I needed a wood grain to make a pull and so I have a bunch of wood grains and if I click on it ah, you can see now that one has a wood grain texture also let's do the same thing with the cone so I'm gonna select the cone go to base browse and see I've got all these different textures see look this is a wood carved texture let's make the cone a wood carved texture just to see what it looks like oh, it looks, looks pretty cool so now you can see I've got these three shapes alright and they have texture they look great now let's group these so that they are all together as one thing so to group what I need to do is I need to select so I'm gonna just uh, select one of these hold down my shift button and then click on all three you can see they're all three highlighted here and then I'm gonna go over to create drop down to new group click on that and then once I click on that it's gonna bring up this tab that's gonna have me name it so I can make multiple groups and name them so I'm just gonna name them wood shapes alright so the name is wood shape the label I'm just gonna keep the same thing wood shapes hit accept and now if you notice up in the right hand corner in the scene now my group is listed and if I hit the arrow 
within that group are my cubes, sphere and cone. So <clears throat> what's really cool is if I select the, the entire group, I can move them together. All right, if I wanna rotate them, if I need to do anything, they're gonna act as one thing. So like if you have a character with a prop and the character is pulling the prop, maybe it's a cart or something and they're pulling the cart, you can make both the character and the cart a group and they'll move together. But I can still go in of course and like select the cube and then I can move the cube separately as well, but it's still within that group. So if I select the group, they all three move. Pretty cool. Okay, so I hope that tutorial helped you with uh, getting some ideas on how you can make your own things, really rudimentary, but you can make your own things in DAS Studio. So those three shapes, a uh, little icon that gives you your ability to make shapes and add it in. And then uh, adding some texture to them is pretty cool. And then grouping them together so they act as one thing.